Good day students, I hope all of you are fine. I'm just quickly going to start with your mail merge, just to review on your steps, how to do mail merge. Now, um, firstly, I do have your notes, I gave it to you also. Um, and then I'll also give it to you if you have lost it, maybe I'll give it to you again. Now, um, on the notes, we discussed that your A question, whether it's question 5A, question 6A, question 4A, the A one is always your table. So when we look at our question paper, number one, it tells you use the mail merge function to create a data file using the names and information in the table below. And when you look at this table, remember that we do not type the table as you see it because we don't want letter 1, letter 2, and letter 3 to be on top of the columns. We want name, surname, address, town, code, table number to be at the top as our column headings. And then we want our information to follow. Then the second thing that's important, it tells us to save the document as question 5a and to print it in landscape orientation. Now this landscape orientation is important. So when we go to Microsoft Word, what I did is I just have two screens here. So when I go to my Microsoft Word, remember to change your orientation to landscape before you insert your table. Now we can go to insert, we can go to table, and then you can choose to either highlight or to say insert table and to specify how many columns and how many rows. Now that depends on you which method you prefer. Today I'll use the highlighting method. So before we highlight, we need to see how many columns we need. Remember, this is the headings for your columns. So this will determine how many column headings you have. You have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So we highlight six columns. Then the rows, now a lot of students forget to count the heading row as well. They just count one, two, three rows and they forget about this row. So let's say that was the case. I will show you how to fix it. So let's say you said it is three rows, it's supposed to be four, but I'll show you how to fix it. So let's click on it. Then what is important is you have to make sure that you type in exactly the same case. The headings you will see as name and capital letters. You can just press tab uh, to move on to your next um, column because that will allow you to save some time. Address, and then we've got town. One else is a bit long. Sorry about that. We've got code and table number. number. Okay, and then I just press tab again to get underneath. So what we did now is we created our headings. This is our headings. Now we do not type in the word letter one, two, or three, or record one, two, or three, or whatever. That is just extra indicating how many letters you will have in the end, basically. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need a name. Or the first person or the first letter so we can see the first letter this is all the information second letter all the information and so forth so for name we start with Melvin just my Melvin okay and then press tab we've got reels reels right and then we've got tab 54 Ella Street Ella remember to note your case to be the same now where it says examination number please do not go and number in our internal exam and in our um, classwork we just put in our initial and our surname don't type the words I surname you type your initial and surname and then the code 1485 table number 10. Just press tab again to get to the next one. So now we are on our second letter and it is Sammy's information. So it is Sammy and contour or contour or I don't know how you want to pronounce this. And then it is 35 Pinnacle Street. 
let's say this pen, you know, full street. Okay, and then we have our town, which is Mossel Bay. Oh, Mossel Bay. And the code 6503 and table number 2. Now you see that you've got a problem that you are short of MODAS information. Now don't go and draw in a table or anything like that. All you do is, the way we got from one column to a next column, we just press tab. So in this case as well, just press tab on your keyboard and then an extra row will be added. There's other methods as well, but this one is quite plain and simple. So now it's Moda for Merlin. We've got three Nolan Road. Road. Mm. Road. And then we've got Bosov. Bosov. And question in capital letters, we always type our question number, capital letters, space, five, as well as indicate A. And then it is table number five. Now, we have checked our case, we have checked our spec to check, is do you see the wrapping of the table is incorrect? So you want to space out your columns. What you do is you go and highlight your table. Now, easy way is just here in the corner where the table starts. You just click there. And then you just go take your mouse. Don't put it on a vertical line. We want to use a horizontal line. That is for our column width. I just put it on a horizontal line, anywhere on a horizontal line. And I just double click. And then you will see it space out your column one time for you. Now, please remember, we also do not put in a header and a footer. We use our initial and surname in the table and our question 5A. Normally, I tell students to also insert a station number, but sometimes the space gives a bit of problems for that. Um, but normally we do insert the station number either here with the name and surname or the question number as well. Now when you are done with your table and you have spaced it out, then all you do is you go save your document. You just say file. We say save as. Go to browse. Let me just go down. down mine don't want to. Um, let me just make it a little bit bigger and see if my brows, there's my brows hiding. Okay. And then let's say you do not have a folder for your work. Then you can just say new folder. Now you are supposed to know this from N4. Click on new folder or just right click and say new folder. And then we can call this um, computer practice. Um, I already created the computer practice folder for you over there. But let's say if you don't have a folder, you just say new folder and you give it a name, whichever you want to name it. I'm going to delete this folder. I don't need it. So for me, I already have the folder. I'm going to open my computer practice folder. Now, I like to keep my work um, in order. So I'm going to name this one Mail Merge. Mail Merge. Okay. Oh, let's see. It doesn't change my face. Let me do it again. Mail Merge. Okay. I say enter. And then I open my folder. And I'm going to name this one Question. Oh, let me highlight again. Okay, there it goes, question 5a. I'm going to save. Right, wait. Hmm, signing in. Sorry about this. Um, let me just quickly see. I don't want to save. Oh, okay, that's it. Okay, question 5a. Okay, and then you have to print it. So you just say file, you say print, you select your printer, minus offline, I'm not linked now. So you can just say print, and then it prints out your document for you. And then you just close it.
Okay, and that is the end of our table.